Welcome to a new installment of the Straight Edge Game Room. Today we're going to be looking at MAG's Music Activated Game System by Hasbro. Your music drives the game action, works with any music source, hit clips compatible, includes audio cable. So we're going to test this thing out on three death metal albums that I got, as well as some of my own songs. Let's get into it. Okay, we're going to test this game out with a song from this album, Discern, Revive, and Rebuke. Let's go with the first track, Revival. So I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to start this song. Push start. What's there to be said about an early 2000s handheld that was a commercial failure by a company that absorbed Tiger Electronics? It's terrible. After games like Frequency and Parappa the Rapper, Um Jammer Lammy, but before Guitar Hero, it had a very interesting concept, but it was executed very poorly. This was meant to accompany the moderately popular hit clips, which had some success during the early 2000s, but this gaming console unfortunately ended up in bargain bins and then eventually at Dollar Tree. Alright, let's test this out on another song from the same band but a different album, To Praise With Persecution by Discern. Let's go with the second song, I Sacrifice. I'm going to turn it on. Let's raise the difficulty just a little bit. Level 1, 2. Okay, I'm going to start it. What's the strategy to the game? Listen to music and mash buttons, of course. But why tell you how to play the game when I could just show you? Thank goodness I still have the manual because it has the diagram that helps me simplify it. So in any case, these three outer bars here are the only bars you should care about. If they get too far, these squiggly lines appear telling you that you took too long to get there. There's your bonus counter. These squiggly lines are called shock waves. There's your cannon. So whatever of the three buttons that you push, you push the side buttons, your cannon appears on whatever side that you pushed. So the only bars that are worth any points are these ones. The one closest to the center of, that, of those three is worth 10 points. The next is five, and that one is one. Okay, we're going to crank the difficulty up just one notch. And this time we're going to play one of my songs off the Blood Metal album. Let's see, The Horse and the Rider. So let me turn this on. Raise the difficulty to number three. Hit start. And I'm going to start the track. <laughs> I don't know what the aspiring replay value to this was other than listening to your favorite music while you play a game. Perhaps it could have been the high score, but once a round is over, your high score flashes for a little bit and then the screen will blank out on you. And I don't think anybody in the early 2000s cared about high scores anymore. All right, let's take a quick look at the unit itself. Here's your mags handheld console. There's your power button, and that's also to start the game. This is your game select, so you can pick between game one and game two. 
and select the three difficulties each of them have. These three buttons right here, that moves your sound cannon. These two move the sound cannon to each side, and this one moves it to the bottom. It's got a belt clip, so you can wear it on your pants. It takes three AAA batteries. Up here is your compartment where you insert your hit clips cartridge. But I don't have a hit clips cartridge. In any case, I couldn't play it anyway because of copyright issues on YouTube. So let me look at the manual and see what it says about game two. Playing game two, build. Game two is similar to game one with one different feature. If you don't hit a 10 point bar in time, a five point bar builds on it. Now you have to press the firing button twice to hit them both. If a one point bar appears, you must keep firing until they are all hit. All right, the next song we're gonna look at will be off of this album, Chords of the Grave, featuring four different bands. But we're gonna play a track from Oblation. Let's go with that one, Dead Unborn. Turn it on, select the game, uh-oh. There we go, hit start. And start the track. <coughs> Can you guess the strategy to game two? That's right, mash buttons. Here I go trying game two out on one of my own songs, and I think I'm actually doing even worse. All right, we're just gonna go for broke. We're gonna go all the way to the highest difficulty on game number two. Number three of game two. And the song we're going to look at is back on this one, Discern to Praise with Persecution. Let's go with the anointing. There's a lot of shredding in that. If I'm going to get myself killed, we may as well go down shredding. Hit the start button and... Uh-oh. Wow. Didn't even make it to the end of the song. Mag's no. music activated game system. It was an interesting experimental novelty item, but unfortunately, it went the way of the Tiger R Zone, the Gamecom, and other aspiring innovations. But for better or for worse, it flopped and died out. Don't get me wrong, this was a fun oddball thing to review but I really can't recommend it. The gameplay isn't very interesting and the novelty dies off real easily. But if you do run across it in the wild, it won't set you back a whole lot. Most people that get a hold of these are just trying to get rid of them. So you might find them for a dollar or four bucks. So no harm done if you buy this thing out of curiosity. Well, that concludes this episode of the Straight Edge Game Room. If you guys enjoyed this program, please hit the like button, subscribe, Reference my video catalog for past episodes of the Straight Edge Game Room. Thanks to Billy Fraser of Discern, former drummer of Oblation. You rock, dude. Thanks for letting me use your tracks. You know, I cannot end this review without showing you guys this. I cannot believe this is in the manual. This blows my mind. Look. Battery caution. As with all small batteries, the batteries used with this game should be kept away from small children who still put things in their mouth. If they are swallowed, promptly see a doctor and have the doctor telephone this number, collect. I'm not gonna show you that number in its entirety because I don't wanna risk anything. But it blows my mind that it tells you to go to your doctor and have the doctor collect call this number. What in the world is going on? Unbelievable.